I know, I know, I know. I spent way too much time trying to repair this soprano uke body, but it's a chance to practice cosmetic repair jobs as opposed to just building from scratch. It's mahogany and I don't know the exact history of the plank. I believe it to be from a bar in Seattle that was being demolished. So it has flaws, nail holes and the such. I did a pretty good job of repairing several of them and not so good at a couple others. To fix them I grafted in similar wood, applied stain to try and hide the bad bits. I tried blending by sanding the stain globs but had the best luck by just foregoing sandpaper and scraping with a curved X-Acto blade. The further I went, the stronger the realization became that I probably should have just thrown the whole thing away and selected better cuts of wood. Don't judge me. I did another resin casting project this week. I'm learning as I go along, so I'll show you how this one went. It involved setting up a Rapala fishing lure, and like last week's project, I used the little swimming figures that are made for HO gauge model railroaders. People ask me where I got them. A well-known online retailer delivers them right to my doorstep. In order to position the lure, I had to put several drops of super glue on the back hooks in order to prop the lure up in position and then glue everything down to the base. Failure to do that and the lure will float to the top. Rather than making my own mold, this time I bought some silicone molds. Once filled with resin, the sides predictably distort, so there was a lot more grinding and sanding than was probably necessary. Next time, I'll build a box on the outside to help maintain the shape of the mold. Starting with the disc sander to get things square, I then gradually went through the grits. By using a lot of grits, you don't have to spend a lot of time on any particular one. You can see the micro mesh pads and how fine they go. Still, I need a polish. I'm using automobile rubbing compound. For final polishing, a t-shirt won't work. You really need to use a microfiber cloth. You can see the difference here. Anyway, resin casting is kind of fun. You put your fresh pour into the pressure pot overnight to get rid of the air bubbles, and the next morning you get to open up a Christmas present. Distractions are always fun, but it's time to get back to the dulcimer guitar that I've been making. I grabbed some small offcuts and tried making a decent looking back for it. I don't know, I guess I'll go ahead and try and make it work. This dulcimer guitar is a test model anyway, and one that I'll be keeping for myself, so I'm hoping that it'll be okay. I guess we'll both get to see soon. Anyway, it's winter. It seems that I lack the motivation that spring brings. But if I put in a couple, three or four hours a day, at least things keep moving along and I can continue to justify sleeping in every day. So thanks for following me around the shop for another week. And now let's go make something. <laughs>